Hey YouTube Pipe Smokers, it's Professor Walker here, and I've got to show you this, um, and maybe you guys can help me figure out exactly what to do with it, but I found this today at an antique store. This is a pound of Sir Walter Raleigh, and I'm going to put a picture up, but there's a tax stamp on here. And the tax stamp is dated February 26th of 1926. So it doesn't necessarily mean it was produced in 26, but the tax stamp was there. So um, it had to be close to that, close to that time period. According to Sir Walter Raleigh website, they said it was a favorite since 27. So this could be some of the first Sir Walter Raleigh to come off the line. Now, we've all seen these tins before, so that's no big deal, right? There's lots of little tins. Well, let's take the lid off this tin. This cool little cardboard tin. And now look what's inside. It's a full pound of tobacco. This was unopened. And it wasn't sealed in any way, so of course it's horribly dried out. I, I, but we're gonna, it could probably be rehydrated. But if you just crack the, the plastic there, cause it's not, it's not actually sealed in a way, it was just folded over. It still smells good. It has an aromatic smell to it. I, I've never smoked Sir Walter Raleigh, so I don't know what it smells like today, but it still smells like tobacco and with a little bit of an aromatic scent to it um, so there we go so my question and, and I'm gonna put it to you, the people that catch this video is should I just put this thing up on eBay you know sell this to somebody who for whatever reason somebody that would want this a collector of some type or, and this is kind of what I was thinking to do, I was inspired a bit by the Artful Codger, is should I just take this tobacco, put it in little baggies, um, and send it off to some people to rehydrate and smoke? And if I did that, what I would want to do is send this tobacco you know, maybe in little one ounce packages so we could get it to as many people as possible to people that would do a VR of what their experience was like smoking some tobacco that's almost 100 years old. Because whether or not this was produced in 26 or 27, um, it's got to be pretty much right there. We're talking tobacco that's over 90 years old. Um, that's pretty awesome um, <clears throat> so I, I would like you again just let me know what you think um, should we try to smoke this stuff or uh, should I just sell it to somebody it's tempting it's tempting either way because uh, maybe somebody maybe somebody wants to buy this that would pay more than what I paid for it um, but it may be just worth a lot more just to smoke it um, so again uh, let me know and, and when you I'm gonna I am gonna put a couple pictures up right now because um, I want to show highlight a couple things on this old container one is it tells you and, and, and I don't know if other Sir Walter Raleigh's did this later, but it tells you fac factory number 21, District of Kentucky. So that's where it was produced. And it actually has a stamp on here saying Union Made from Tobacco Workers International Union. So the stamp that was on there, which I've never seen that before because I've never really had much to do with some of these vintage tobaccos. And then the tax stamp itself says U.S. It's like U.S. internal revenue on it. Um, pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. All right, so that's it. Uh, again, guys, let me know what you think. Put some comments down. 
And what should I do with this pound of almost 100-year-old tobacco? All right, I'll catch you guys later.